window down? Nope. Let me see your ID. Nope. I don't answer questions. Camera 875, send me another unit, please. Wait, am I free to leave? Yeah, then I'm just as free to fing stay. Tom, I would appreciate it if you would educate this pig bastard mother who fing pulled me over for flipping him off. Please? Would you? What did you tell him? Have a good day. And welcome back to the Civil Rights Lawyer channel. This footage was submitted by the guy who took it, showing him being pulled over in Lower Yoder Township, Pennsylvania, by a police officer named Jeff Novotny, who actually works for Upper Yoder Township, Pennsylvania. This brings up issues of whether or not this guy had to turn over his ID, whether or not it was a legal traffic stop, and the old issue of whether or not you have a protected First Amendment right to give the middle finger to police officers. What'd you stop me for? What's your What's your name and badge number? What's your name and badge Name's number? Right there. What is your name? Speak your name to me. I can't read. Officer Navotny. What is your name? I don't answer questions. What did you stop me for? What did you stop me for? Huh? For disorderly conduct. No, I don't think so. This happened on Monday, August 28th, 2023. The guy who was pulled over here says that he had been harassed by several agencies, and that day he decided to exercise his First Amendment right to flip a cop off. Then he got pulled over. When he asks why he was pulled over, this cop does not admit the actual reason, which apparently was he flipped him off. Now remember, any detainment requires reasonable suspicion. So he asks here, what is the reasonable suspicion? And he says disorderly conduct. Well, I went ahead and looked up the disorderly conduct statute in Pennsylvania. A person is guilty of disorderly conduct if, with the intent to cause public inconvenience, annoyance, or alarm, or recklessly creating a risk thereof, he engages in fighting or threatening or in violent or tumultuous behavior, makes unreasonable noises, uses obscene language, or makes an obscene gesture, or creates a hazardous or physically offensive condition by any act which serves no legitimate purpose of the actor. So the potential applicable provision here that could be disorderly conduct under Pennsylvania law is making an obscene gesture. Is giving a cop the middle finger an obscene gesture under Pennsylvania law? Was Officer Novotny correct? There was a Pennsylvania case called Com versus Kelly from back in 2000, a Pennsylvania Supreme Court case that looked at this exact issue. And to make a long story short, it concluded that giving the middle finger to a government official does not fall under the definition of an obscene gesture under the disorderly conduct statute because the word obscene following Supreme Court case law pertains to things of a sexual nature. And while the middle finger technically could translate to the F word, which could be used in a sexual way, it's generally just used in the context of telling somebody to F off or giving them a middle finger and therefore not in a sexual gesture sort of way. And therefore it does not apply. So the law was very clearly established way back in the year 2000 that giving a cop the middle finger does not even fall under the disorderly conduct statute in, in Pennsylvania. You're, no. You're Mr. Clanchar, aren't you? I don't answer questions. Uh-huh. Stand by. That's Upper Yoder, and we are in Lower Yoder Township. Really, you fell for it, Officer Novotny? You fell for it? Really? You fell for it? I mean, he fell for it. He absolutely, he absolutely fell for it. He absolutely fell for it. He's an Upper Yoder cop, and I am in Lower Yoder Township. You're out of your jurisdiction. Am I free to leave? No. You're out of your jurisdiction. Am I free to leave? Am I free to leave? 
You pulled me over in West in Westwood. Am I free to leave? You f***ing pig. Now, I didn't hear exactly what Officer Novotny responded with, but it sort of sounded like a no. In any event, you can see that he has his emergency lights on. If a reasonable person would feel like they're not free to leave, then they're not free to leave and the individual is being detained and therefore the Fourth Amendment is implicated and therefore there must be a reasonable, articulable suspicion that some crime has occurred and that this individual may have done it. And as I explained, as of the year 2000, it was made very clear in the law, which this guy is tasked with understanding, at least constructively, this man could not have committed that crime. I just want to go to the f <coughs> Yo, pig! Give me a supervisor! Yo, Piggy, I'm asking for a supervisor. I am the supervisor. Well, then you better get your f***ing chief here. You're out of your jurisdiction. Okay? You want to die on this sword, you're gonna. Now a police officer who works in that actual jurisdiction arrives. That's Sergeant Tom Dowdell. I won't get rude with him. He's about one of the only decent human beings on that force. I just won't. I won't get nasty with him. When the second officer arrives, he doesn't appear to take part in the traffic stop at all. He just goes over and talks to the police officer from the Upper Yoder Police Department. And so the guy who is stopped here, who knows this guy, and he apparently trusts this guy, he asks him, hey, am I free to leave? And so after that, he says, well, if I'm free to leave, I'm free to get out of my car and, and start questioning Officer Novotny and criticizing Officer Novotny. And that's what he does. Hey, Tom. Officer Dowdell, am I free to leave? I don't have to ID. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. I love you, buddy, but I can do that, right? Protected First Amendment free speech. Could you educate him, please? Can I step out? Wait, am I free to leave? Then I'm just as free to f***ing stay. Tom, I would appreciate it if you would educate this pig bastard mother who f***ing pulled me over for flipping him off. Please, would you? What did you tell him? Have a good day. Well, at least the officer didn't deny it here as far as the reason why he pulled him over. I'd love to see and hear the body cam footage and hear the conversation that took place between the actual officer who is in his jurisdiction and this guy who performed the traffic stop out of his jurisdiction. But I, when I look back at the beginning of the video, it appears to me that this, uh, the officer Novotny, for some reason, was not wearing his body cam. Take a look. Nope. See your ID. Nope. Yeah, I didn't see any body cam there. I mean, why would you perform a traffic stop on somebody and take your body cam off or not put it on? You feel subjectively like you are doing something wrong, something illegal or something that is outside of your department policy. No, 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 no. I have the freedom of speech, okay? I can say what I want and I can do this to you, you all I right want, ahead. okay? Uh, or you, you go right ahead. That's right. Feel free to leave. Have a good day. And I'm free to stay too. Absolutely. Okay. Don't think this is the end of this, okay? You violated my First Amendment right to fucking free speech, you piece of shit. I'll be over for the police report too, okay? I appreciate that, brother. Thank you. Okay. You want to come over to the house, Tom? You can. Okay, I'm going home.
I mean, at this point, the guy just handled this like a boss. I mean, he, he went from being the victim of an illegal traffic stop to, to getting out of his car and making this guy just feel like a complete ass and then inviting the other cop over to his house. And it looked like they practically fist bumped at the end. As I've explained in several videos, there is a protected First Amendment right to give the middle finger to police officers or other government employees. Why? Because the First Amendment covers more than just mere words. It covers gestures as well. It covers expressions that are physical in nature. And there have been multiple, multiple cases dealing with specifically giving the bird to police officers. That's very clear. But you, we don't even really need to go into that because um, Pennsylvania law, their disorderly conduct statute, does not um, consider the middle finger in a, an offensive gesture anyways. There could, be, there could be some argument that under some circumstances it could be disorderly conduct directed at a third party if it's causing some sort of a fight like a road rage situation. I believe there is some case law on that out of Pennsylvania, but that's not what happened here. Really, we have a Fourth Amendment violation because you have a detention that occurred because initially he was not free to leave. Before he was free to leave, he was told he was not free to leave. And it was clear to a reasonable person that they wouldn't have been free to leave because there were, was a police car behind him with, his, um, with the lights um, flashing. And also he was asked for his ID. So he wasn't free to leave. There was no justification under the Fourth Amendment for that to occur because the disorderly conduct, reasonable suspicion, could not exist because um, even if true, what the officer was alleging, that's not a crime. And then you have uh, First Amendment retaliation. So the police officer sees the middle finger. He then go, goes and performs this illegal traffic stop and detention. And that is designed to crush, uh, to chill free speech of that nature. So why do many people who would otherwise give the middle finger to a police officer not do it? Because they know that police officer very likely could retaliate against them like happened here. And that's really the actual element that you have to prove to prove First Amendment retaliation is that it would chill the speech of, of your regular average person. But this obviously is not your regular average person. This guy has uh, some serious cojones and he ends up walking away from it like a boss in, in this situation. Appreciate you sending me the video. Um, definitely an interesting one. And if you like watching these sorts of videos and, and uh, educating yourself and others on constitutional rights, then please subscribe both here and at the blog at thecivilrightslawyer.com. I also put links to some of the other videos that I've done on the right to give the middle finger to police officers. Freedom is scary. Deal with it. I'll see you next time. Thank <music> you.